Hello and welcome students. I hope you all are fit and fine. Today we will read the chapter The Strength Within. Let's start the chapter. The school bell rang and a swarm of children barged out of the gates. Chirping and fluttering like playful birds, their happy faces seemed like flowers in a meadow dancing in a soft breeze. So children, as the school bell rang, a group of children ran towards the school gates. Chirping. Chirping means sound made by a small bird. And fluttering. Fluttering means moving rapidly. Like jolly birds. The children were looking like flowers in a meadow. Meadow means a field of grass. Dancing in a gentle wind. Aprajita made her way through the thick crowd flew into her mother's arms. Her mother was all always there to pick her up after school. During her lunch break at the office, her mother would drop her home and then go back to work. Aprajita. Now here comes the main character of this chapter. She was a little girl and she was also the one of the children making way through the other children and she flew into her mother's arm. Her mother comes to pick her up from her office during lunch time to drop her home and go back to work. As the two sat in the car, Prajita pleaded, Mom, can we please go to the ice cream parlor today? No sugar, came a quick but determined answer. Now Prajita, she asked her mother to go to an ice cream parlor because she wanted to eat an ice cream. But her mother refused to take her. You always do this to me. Last week too, you did not agree to take me to the parlor, said Aprajita angrily. Aprajita got angry with her mother because she was not taking her to the ice cream parlor. Her mother did not reply. They reached home and Aprajita's grandmother opened the door. Her mother drove back without saying anything. Still frowning, Aprajita angrily flung her bag on the floor and sat on the couch. They reached home and Aprajita, who was still very angry, threw her bag on the floor. Her grandmother asked her about what happened. What is the matter? Fought with your mother again? inquired her grandmother. Aprajita's grandmother was asking her why she was angry. At first, Aprajita did not reply. Her eyes slowly brimmed until a pearl-like tear rolled down her cheek. Why does she always have to do this? She said in a trembling voice. Her grandmother wiped her tears and made her sit comfortably. So children, in this paragraph, Aprajita, she told the incident what happened to her grandmother. And she asked her grandmother why her mo mother is like that. Her grandmother, she tried to console her. She wiped her tears and made her sit comfortably. Don't be angry child. You know your mother works so hard to make your life easy. She is a fighter fighting a tough battle. Children, now the grandmother told Prajita that her mother works very hard to make her happy. What battle grandma? She is fighting no battle. It was dad who fought in the battle and. Now children, here I would like to put some light on Prajita's family. Aprajita lived with her grandmother and mother. Her father was a soldier. He had died fighting a battle. Indeed she is. Not all battles are fought on the battlefield. There are tougher battles that one has to fight every day of our lives. Replied her grandmother as if almost talking to herself. Grandmother told Aprajita that we do not fight battles. On the battlefield. In everyday life, one or the other is fighting a tough battle to survive and to make his or her family happy. Then she turned to Aprajita and said, You know, ordinary people become extraordinary because they have courage. Do you know the story of Amrita Devi? She also told Aprajita that simple ordinary people become extraordinary because they are courageous. 
For this, the grandmother asked Aprajita if she knows about the story of Amrita Devi. No. Who was she? Was she a queen like Rani Lakshmi Bai? replied Aprajita. No, she was an ordinary Bishnoi woman from Khejarli village in Rajasthan. But her courage changed her own life and the lives of many others, said Grandma. What did she do? asked Aprajita. So children, Aprajita was not aware of Amrita Devi. But she was eager to know about her. As you also asked so many questions. Then the grandmother started to narrate the story of Amrita Devi. Who was an ordinary woman from Khejarli village in Rajasthan. She was very brave. And her courage changed so many lives. Grandmother narrated in the year 1730 Maharaja Abhe Singh ruled Jodhpur. So the story is like this. In 1730, Maharaja Abhe Singh was the ruler of Jodhpur in Rajasthan. Once he wanted wood to construct his palace, so he ordered his soldiers to bring the wood of Khejri trees that grew in the Khejri village. When the soldiers reached the village to cut the trees, they were stopped by Amrita Devi. Children, the soldiers, they reached the village to cut the trees and take the wood. But do you know, children, it was Amrita Devi who stopped the soldiers from doing so. She requested them not to cut the trees of her village. But the soldiers did not agree. Amrita Devi hugged one of the trees and warned the soldiers that they would have to cut her before they cut the tree. So children, she requested them not to cut the trees. She pleaded. But the soldiers, they did not bother. Children, do you know what Amrita Devi did? She hugged one of the trees and warned the soldiers that they would have to cut her before they cut the tree. Amrita Devi hugged one of the trees and warned the soldiers that they would have to cut her before they cut the tree. So children, do you know what Amrita Devi did? She hugged one of the tree and warned the soldiers that they would have to cut her before they cut the trees. But the soldiers did as they were ordered and cut Amrita Devi as well as the tree she was trying to save. But children, the soldiers, they kept on cutting the trees that Amrita Devi was... But the soldiers, they kept on cutting the tree that Amrita Devi was trying to save. They cut Amrita Devi along with the tree. What happened then? asked Aprajita. Grandmother continued, following her example and nearly 363 people from the village, hugged the trees of the village. So children, Aprajita curiously asked her grandmother about Amrita Devi. Then grandmother told her that nearly 363 people from Amrita Devi's village followed her example and hugged the trees. Unfortunately, they were also killed by the king's soldiers. The news of this massacre spread like wildfire. But sadly, the soldiers killed them also. When the news reached the king, he was very sorry for the action of his soldiers. He ordered that from then onwards, no trees would be cut and no animals would be hunted in his kingdom. The king heard about this killing and he was sorry for what the soldiers did. He ordered that from then onwards, cutting of trees and killing and hunting of animals is a crime. If any person was found doing so, he would be severely punished. In this way, the sacrifice and bravery of an ordinary woman like Amrita was honored. She had won her battle. So as children, I have already told you that the king, he ordered that from then onwards, there will be no cutting and killing of animals. It would be a crime. And if a person is found doing so, he would be punished. See children. The sacrifice and bravery of Amrita Devi was honored. She had won her battle of saving the nature. I wonder how she showed such courage. Where does this courage come from? Aprajita was wondering that how Amrita Devi showed such courage. And from where does this courage come from? It is the strength within each one of us. Once we are aware of our strength, we build up the courage to fight for ourselves as well as for others. So children, now it was the time that grandmother wanted to teach a lesson of life to Aprajita. She told her 
that we all have strength within each one of us so once we gather this strength we become brave to fight for ourselves and for others also everyone is ordinary till one makes use of one's strength and becomes extraordinary so is your mother replied grandmother so grandmother told aprajita that we are ordinary people but if we use our strength we become extraordinary who wants some ice cream now a voice suddenly interrupted it was aprajita's mother aprajita ran towards her mother with delight she hugged her lovingly and said you are the best mother of the world aprajita had learned a big lesson so children aprajita's mother she was back from her office and she had brought ice cream for aprajita aprajita was very happy she hugged her mother and she had learned a big lesson from amrita devi story and she recognized her mother fighting to survive and make her life easy goodbye for now children so read this chapter very carefully and learn the word meanings stay home stay safe